Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Trail Tarot and I'm here with Astrology for August. I just want to thank you all so much for your support. If you're new here, welcome. If you want to win a free reading, subscribe, like and leave the comment of the word claim to have a chance to win a reading. Check out my other channel, So Magic Inspirations. Check out my deck shop, Over 90 Designs. Again, you can win a free reading if you buy $40 worth of decks. Um, my Patreon page is a new offer, six dollars, um, and you get videos that are not on YouTube on there, channeled messages, love letter readings, etc. If you join before the first of August, again you can get a free reading that way. So there's lots of ways you can get readings from me. So today we are going to be doing Gemini. So we're going to look at Gemini for August. What does Gemini need to know? So don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So if anyone's interested, the picture in the back is my version of the Empress card in the tarot. My attempts at painting. So what does Gemini need to know for August? So we've got Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, The World, Four of Wands. I changed the deck and <laughs> similar cards are coming out, how strange. So I think a lot of people are, are coming into new cycles in their life, letting go of the old, moving forward. So why is the Nine of Wands there? We have the Four of Cups. The Chariot. The Chariot's been coming out a lot as well. I think a lot of people are, are moving forward. Two of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune's been coming out as well. We've had very powerful moon energies which have obviously affected us all. So we've got the Nine of Wands clarified by the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is a disappointment, a lost opportunity. You can see the hand is offering the cup there and the person's just not seeing it. It's not seeing that. Okay, so it's a missed opportunity to, to, to have love. And, you know, there's somebody's wounded here with that Nine of Wands. So this could be you. Um, but you do, want a new, you do want a new beginning because you're holding that wand which is like the Ace of Wand, and there is success and victory waiting for you there. And it's clarified by the Chariot, so it's about moving forward in your life. If you move forward, take action, you're going to have success and victory, and you're coming into a new era of your life with the World card. You're coming out of one way of being into a new way, and this Two of Wands is somebody looking at the world, is holding the world in his hand. You have a choice, you know, you have opportunities ahead, and it's about taking those chances. And the stability ahead with the Four of Wands. Okay, building firm foundations can lead to commitment, can talk about weddings, can talk about twin flame energy. And it's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So there's definitely new energy for you, a new cycle coming in. Lots of changes. So why is the Nine of Wands there? So we've got five of cups. So yeah, there's been a lot of disappointment around love, obviously. Um, you know, and you were in that sadness, um, upset, but there are two cups standing. So there is a new opportunity coming in, but you just didn't see it. Okay, you didn't see it at the time. You were dwelling on the past and you need to let go of the past. And with that uh, six of wands, it's moving forward. Success and victory. Keep moving forward. Yeah, we've got Knight of Pentacles energy. So slow moving energy. This could be somebody coming towards you. Uh, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's slow moving, but somebody is serious with a solid intention. Okay. And you, the world is your oyster. I will see that as the world card new opportunities new cycle in your life coming in with the world card but we have five of wands so there's conflict there i feel that's internal conflict okay i feel that's within you 
um, between head and heart. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Because it's clarified by the two of wands, which is that choice, making a choice. I always see that as a choice. So what, why is the five of wands there? So we've got queen of cups energy. So for some of you, there could be a choice in love. We could have a water sign here and an earth sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, an earth sign. There could be choices in love. And maybe that's what you're conflicted about, okay? Um, but there is stability ahead with that four of wands. And we've got the higher event. So that, to me, that is all about commitment. There is a commitment ahead for you. Something serious could be marriage for some of you if you're interested in that. And we've got the four of cups and we've got three of cups clarifying that. So you are coming out of that sadness. You're getting ready to celebrate. You're going to start going out. And, and celebrate with your friends, have a good time, to leave the past behind, leave the sadness behind. You're ready to, you're feeling better, you're in a better energy. And with the chariot, you want to move forward, yeah, taking a leap of faith with the fool. You're ready, you're ready for that new beginning. So why is the two of wands there? And we've got nine of cups. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot of people here. Um, so Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Romance and Love. Okay, so there's definitely water energy um, coming in, offering you love and romance here. Um, so as I said, there is a choice, you know, it looks like between water and earth. And Wheel of Fortune, you know, good luck is coming in, new beginnings. A new cycle in your life, a much happier cycle. Yeah, because and you become stronger. You're stronger in yourself. You're more emotionally strong. You know, you've been through heartbreak. You've overcome that. And you're feeling better about yourself. You've got that self-worth, that self-love energy. And you're going to have a choice. And you will, you will make the right choice. And we've got Emperor. <laughs> wow. So you have your divine counterpart coming in here. This is a very strong masculine energy. Okay, this is going to be your soul connection. Yeah, you're going to you're going to know the truth. You're going to ha have truth and clarity around that. And we've got Queen of Wands energy, so fire energy as well. So there, there's it looks like there's a lot of people around you. Okay, and you're happily single, um, but there's all these people. These opportunities are going to be coming in, and Ace of Wands. There is going to be a new passionate beginning for you. And you've manifested this, you know, you're the magician, you've manifested your desires. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, we got the seven. <laughs> this came out, I think, in the last reading I did, seven of cups. So, yeah, the, there is choices in love. And you could be feeling confused about that. So take time out, pause, reflect, make, you know, but the ten of port coins is coming towards you. You're going to get your home, family, security, but the choice is yours at the end of the day. But the, one of them is your divine counterpart. So what does Gemini need to know about love? What does Gemini need to know about love? Gemini need to know about love. Love to love you, baby, all through the night. So somebody very passionate. Known each other since we were a child. So some of you could be a childhood friend coming back. Or childhood connection, something to do with childhood. Someone like you, I've been waiting for you so long. So this is going to be your person. I mean, we saw that with the Emperor Energy. This is your person, the one you've been waiting for. And you're going to have a deep understanding of each other. You to me are everything. So yeah, you will know who to pick.
you are the one for me, be mine. So a sign could be that they could bring you roses. Maybe you like roses. Maybe this person's going to bring you roses. That could be a sign for some of you. And I see your beauty inside and out. So they're going to really see your true beauty. And we've got divine union alone at last. So yeah. As I said, it's your counterpart and the yin and the yang. So you could be from different countries, different ethnicities, um, different religious beliefs. Okay. So that could be a sign for you as well. They're from a different country. So let's get some final messages for Gemini. Yeah, you've got abundance coming in. Abundance in all areas of your life. Yeah, time to release the past, let go of the past, to move forward. You know, you have, you're in that period of wallowing, being sad, and you're coming out of that. And you're going to be thriving. You're, you're coming into a really positive life style, and you're going to have that inner peace. So beautiful energies there. So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Sending you love and blessings. Take care.